the most delicious and different chicken you've ever seen. My kids want me to make it every day. Hit the like button already and leave your comment on this recipe. Start by cutting three chicken breasts of approximately 800 grams. First, cut into thin cutlets just like I'm doing. Then into strips and finally into small dices and set aside. Now, into a large skillet over medium low heat, add three tablespoons of vegetable oil, one medium onion chopped into small dices, and stir until slightly golden brown. When that happens, add all the chicken dices and keep stirring until the juices from the chicken fully evaporate. Then add one large potato chopped into small dices. Stir all the ingredients once again and let them cook for another 10 minutes. After this indicated time, add one red pepper chopped into small dices, one green pepper also chopped into small dices, four tablespoons of tomato paste, two tablespoons of salt, one teaspoon of fresh or dried mint, one teaspoon of chili flakes, a pinch of black pepper, stir all the ingredients until combined and cook for another five minutes. Leave us a comment with the name of the city from which you're watching this. I'd like to give you a shout out and thank you for sharing this recipe. This is the right cooking point. You may now turn off the heat and set aside. Now, into a medium bowl, add three whole eggs. And using a whisk, beat them well. Then add 200 milliliters of milk one half of a 240 milliliter cup of wheat flour, one teaspoon of salt, one half teaspoon of baking soda, and mix all the ingredients very well until combined. Finally, add parsley to taste and mix once again. This is the right consistency. You may now stop mixing and set aside. Then cut 300 grams of phyllo pastry. To do so, use a small bowl to measure and a knife to cut around its diameter, just like I'm doing here. I'm using a 15 centimeter diameter bowl and set aside. Now, into a large round baking pan greased with butter, add a sheet of parchment paper. I'm using a 32 centimeter diameter baking pan. Next. Fill the pastries we cut with the chicken we prepared. Arrange them in the baking pan and fold their edges just like this. Repeat this process with all the pastries and the filling. If you've made it here, that means you're enjoying our recipe. So click the share button and share this video with all your friends. It won't cost you anything, but for us, it will make all the difference. Once you've done that, distribute all the egg mixture we prepared over the kebabs. Finally, cover all the kebabs with 200 grams of grated mozzarella cheese. Now take them to a preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius or 356 degrees Fahrenheit and let them bake for 20 minutes. Baking time may vary depending on the power of your oven, so keep an eye out. That recipe is ready. You may now serve and enjoy. Now I'll head back to the comments section and we'll continue to answer everyone who left the name of their city. And I'll also thank you for sharing this recipe. See you next recipe. Bye.